episode of uh, Total Arcade 98 Let's Play. Um, been doing a couple deep dives and some music episodes recently there. Uh, while well, it's uh, well and good here, wanted to get back to some gameplay episodes, the real meat of what we're looking at here. Um, been a little dull lately, in my opinion. No surprise here. It's some pretty, pretty terrible games. But, by the way, let's keep on uh, slogging our way through here. Wanted our way back to Arcade. Uh, some good old Morav where there was Breakout 95, and I'll probably be seeing that some more. I, I see a few other ones I think kind of go along with that. Uh, move to the next one is going to be some Cyber Tetris here. So let's see what we got. All right, definitely seems uh, pretty, pretty bare bones. Okay, let's just uh, let's go play it up here. Oh, it's already going. Okay, let's see here. Um, so like a okay. Um, I play a good amount of Tetris, I, I, I want to say here. Um, it's the, uh, trying to figure out the, uh, so this is, seems pretty, uh, pretty standard here. I mean, Tetris is pretty, pretty damn popular, not only at this time, but, uh, at all these times here. Can't even do that. You know, I'm not going to waste my time playing this. This, this is Tetris. It's Tetris, okay? Um, it's, I, I'm not going to go through explaining what the fucking Tetris is here. I'm more interested in some of the other things here. It's, it's pretty bare bones. Um, actually, oh, this is Morav Cybertris for Windows. Oh, so this is Morav where, okay, okay, Mortris, okay. Interesting. So, as we were showing from the last episode here, here's another relic from, uh, Steve Morav himself. He, uh, kindly put this together here, um. Load block image set. Block set. Wait, wait, what is this? Are there other block sets here? What's this? Is swirl? Oh, there are other block sets. Dude, Morav included some different fucking colors in here. Look at this man. This is a this is a visionary right here. Looks like it's just those two. 1996 is when he compiled those there. And uh You came in first out, place. I don't know what he said. He said something though. Get out of here. Yeah, just keep playing. Just keep playing. I don't care. Um, you'll notice that he compiled one four minutes later than the other. Interestingly enough, on June fifth, nineteen ninety six. I find that very, very interesting. Um, you can notice from some of these files, like when these guys like work. I know it's like something kind of interesting to to hear, but uh. And I'll go through that at a different time, but some of these guys, you can see, like, you know, uh, some of them are, like, really early in the morning, some are real early, uh, you know, when they wake up, some are, like, later in the day, but you can kind of see, like, common themes around when they like to compile things and put things together and stuff like that, or they, they had a big day and put a bunch of things together, but um, I do kind of want to hear what uh, Morav's got to say there, Let's see if we can get him to say it again for us. You came in second place. Yeah, that's vintage Morav right there. What a man. Anyways, what do we got here? I want to go to uh, go to help. Hmm. He was always so considerate. Is what what he talked about here. Looks like pretty standard stuff here from the man himself. Um. Hi, I'm Steve Moraff. Call 800 VGA Game and get all the information on our brand new games. Classic, just like the other one. See, I'm over here thinking we would have run into it a little bit later, but nope, there's another one right there. I have a feeling he's contributed quite a few games to this year. He, he was he was pretty popular in the shareware days. Um, anyways, it was uh, Cyber Tetris, uh, Mortris by. Steve Morak himself, so moving on to strategy here. Looks like it's going to be some uh, backgammon. Hmm, looks like uh, incompatibility there. So, well, let me see if I can get this guy running on the Windows 98 VM there. So I'll see you guys over there. I think backup was uh, total arcade off the top here. 
couple games I want to kind of explore for us here that I wasn't able to get running on the Windows 10 OS. Uh, we'll start with the first one here. I believe that was backgammon. Um, I wasn't able to get that started on the other one there, so let's see if I can get the sucker going. Oh, look at that. Fires right up for us here. Let me pull this guy down. Things are a little, a little jittery in my VM here, but that's okay. Um, I actually don't know how to play backgammon, so this was, I guess this will be a... I, I used to, actually, but uh, waiting for you to complete your move. Because you gotta, you got to take these guys and... Uh, oh, man. You know, without me learning this over again, I'm probably not going to be able to go very far in this game. Uh, backgammon is pretty fun. I forget, I forget how, how to play. I definitely do remember having fun with it, though, back in the day. Uh, I used to play it on Xbox Live a lot here, for what, whatever reason, you know. Um, but anyways, let me look at some of the options here. Um, oh, here we go. Here's an about. For Windows 2 and 3, I don't know what, what he's trying to say was that there. Moon Mist Circle, Huntington Beach, California. 1990 is when he cranked this out. Wow. Modified to run under Windows 95. Six. So this is a game that like first kind of came out in uh, 1990, huh? Nice and rudimentary. I like it. I like it. It's really all you had to kind of do. All you needed, you know? Um, let's see here. Suggest move. Oh, interesting. Maybe it can help me out. Oh, it doesn't move for you, I guess? No? Maybe? I don't know. Um, <laughs> like how it gives me a little error message there. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know what it's trying to get me to do here. Anyways. Double cube. Beep on air. I love the beep on air. Anyways, so all there's really to this here. Um, I kind of want to go check out where this guy, this guy here. 7906 Moon Mist Circle. Hmm. Well. I'm just curious where this is now. It's always some, uh, it's always a cul-de-sac, dude, always a cul-de-sac. I don't know what it is about cul-de-sacs and PC development in the 90s, but it was just incredibly conducive to the shareware community. Look at this, look at this, cookie cutter, cookie cutter, cut and paste, cut and paste. What is that blue crap in between the houses? Is that, is that water? Is that, no, I can't do water. What is that crap? Does it, does it really not have a street view of... Wow. I guess it doesn't. Um, huh. Well. That's all we really have there of that. Honestly, California looks so dreadful to live in. I can't... I can't look at this. Reminds me of... Uh, Dawn of the Dead when it's zooming out. Dude, look at this. Look at this. So this was developed some really nice housing right next to a bunch of crap. Look at this. C Street, D Street, 3rd Street. Everybody's just cramped together in housing there. Look at this. This is just dreadful right here. Oh my goodness. This is this is like housing stuffed in the house. Look at, look at this. This is ridiculous right here. Um, I would not want to live in a place like this for what it's worth. I still don't know what that blue stuff is. I want to say it's just like turf or some shit like that. I don't know why it'd be blue. No, it must be water. Dude, it must be water. Wow. Wow, they're so rich. They just get to, uh, chill here and do this. So back in, uh, 1990, 
Oh, you know what it is? It's a gated community. Oh, I get it now. I get it now. Watch, I bet it's somewhere right here. I don't know. Maybe not, but. I wonder if I can get close to it, though. Yeah, here we go. Um, yeah, this way. Here we go. Yeah, man. Like, shh. nice and walled off. Just how the white people love it, dude. Perfect. Perfect. You can't even get in there. You know what I mean? They don't want you in there. Why would you want to go in there? It's just walls and walls and walls. Look at that, dude. Look at this. That's crazy to me, dude. This is maybe an entrance right here. But look, you, you can't go in and do it. It's, it's, uh, look at this. Look at this. It's blurred out. It's blurred out. This is top secret. Top secret white people rich land here. Wow, dude. That's crazy to me. Oh, but I can see here just fine. I can see here just fine. Yeah, dude. You can tell. It's just, they don't want you any further in there. But anyways, guys, that's uh, <laughs> that's basically where Backgammon was created there for us. So um, we'll move on to the next one here. That's really all we got on that that sucker for us. You know, here we got some big eight solitaire. Let's dig into what we got going on here. Hmm. Pretty standard stuff here. Win games. Plano, Texas here. Interesting. I'll have to uh. I have to punch that guy in there see what we got. It's kind of interesting where that is. I'll go to that guy in a second. Um, only allows you to play 10 games, then it will disable itself. And we can get this for $10 back in the day. Um, I do love these graphics, I will say. This is, I don't know. To me, like this is just the golden age of, of PC gaming. Just, just the way things move and look and the simplicity of it all. It's text, you know, the whole nine yards of it. Um, I'll have to look into this win games a little bit later. So let's take a kind of look here. Copyright 1997. Let's uh, oh, looks like quite a few. Let's just take top. some cool card noises. Um, I assume this is just like regular song. Okay, there you go. That's how you. Do it. It is what it is there. Uh, man, I, 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 wow, what's this right here? What? What's going on? I don't know how to play any of these games. You guys can try. Let's look at some of uh, the deck options, though, what we got. Oh, pretty cool. Was this like a leopard or what? I mean, it's hard for that one. Background color. Yep, brings up the windows. The uh, background color. It's pretty cool. Um, I know what the contents is already. It's stupid shit. Win games. See, I kind of want to look this guy up. Three nine zero five, Sandia Plano, Texas. Here we go. Let's let's see uh, where where uh, Big Eight Solitaire was was created here for us. I'm just curious. It's uh again like another another residential house here. Again another house lost to history, or where it should be. Um, 
3905 looks like uh yep right there 3905 this is this is the house where good old big aid solitaire was created loved and birthed into existence basically it was in uh this this called the say it's always called the sex suit always called the sex always um this was captured in december 2018 obviously so obviously probably looks a lot different now but he probably used to come out and think about Big Eight Solitaire here and go back right back into his, his hollow house here. But um, it's like it's undergoing some uh, construction or something like that right now here. It looks like a, yeah, it looks like, like new windows, something like that here. Interesting. But, yep, yeah, sure enough, 3905. Right. Sandia Plano, Texas. Um, there's a phone number and everything like that. Maybe I'll look up one game at some point. But anyways, that's Big 8 Solitaire for you guys there. So it's moving on there. It's the next category of kids here. Big Hunt. Hmm, may not work under these conditions. Uh, okay. What do we got? Oh, okay. That was... That kind of farted out on me there. Cancel, then change your Windows graphics driver to 8-bit graphics. Um, Alright, what is it? Savage32 is saying. So let's go delve in here. Let's see if I can get this sucker running. I don't know about this one. I feel like I tried with this guy before at some point in the past and ran into some problems, but always worth another shot here. Savage, here we go. So just off of what it says there, and honestly, I don't even know if I remember this game, to be quite honest with you, but um, it says put it in 8-bit mode, basically putting 256 color. Let's try that guy out here, and let's let's see how it goes. Nope, nope, still did not like it. Interesting that it, uh, so let me, let me just look at something here real quick. See, so it brings this up here. It's not set to 8-bit. Hmm. April 25th, 1996. We're working with some, uh, some pretty old stuff here. Let me try in 16 bit just for giggles. Hmm. I don't know, guys. This is a. Uh... Try it that way, I guess. Hmm. I might have to try this out on the VM here. I don't know why I have a... It's got that feeling it's not going to give us anything. Although, hmm, it's kind of... Hmm, that was interesting. Let me try this here. I feel like that was a little bit of progress. I don't know. That. <laughs> well, let's try uh let's try Windows ninety eight mode here and I'll probably be giving up after that. This this is a guy that does not wanna get jogging together here. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it keeps uh, crap in the bed there, but it does not not want to run at all there. So, um, man, yeah, I don't know. It's a good question. It's a good question indeed. 
Oh man, what is this? Well, that sucks, guys. I wish I could get that running for us, but uh, I don't think it's going to be uh, meant to be there. <clears throat> but I'm going to keep Tinkerose, maybe uh, see if the, the BM will bring it up for me. But if I can get it running, I'll report back. We'll see what we can do with it. Thanks for watching, guys. Kind of continuing on here. Backgammon was fun. I really want to quit. Let's go ahead and move on to uh, another one I was trying to explore here. That's this game, Big Hunt, here. Um, he's really having trouble trying to run his 8-bit graphics, but uh, yeah, see, even this one doesn't like it. Hmm. <laughs> really does not like that. Um, let me see if I can kind of change something here. I'm a little rusty with uh, Windows 98. <clears throat> um settings, adjustments, however you want to call it there. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Oops. Oh my goodness. It just like doesn't want to let me go there. There we go. So, it's in 16 colors. Uh, come on, really? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think any of that's going to do it there. So, I don't know, maybe... <laughs> I wonder what happens if I put the uh, the two colors here. I don't think I can do eight colors on here. Eight bit. No, I'm not even going to stick with it. I don't want to screw this sucker up more than I already have. <laughs> Let me see here. I don't think there's anywhere else I can be changing this. Yeah, it might be a game I... Uh, I have to show you guys on on YouTube because I just can't get this sucker to run. So uh, let me go show that uh, for you guys there. What I was trying to look at on the Windows 98 VM, I'd at least show you the gameplay of this game. Um, I'll let you guys kind of feast your eyes on this magic here. I couldn't get this running. This is like archaic here. <laughs> So that's big hunt for you there. I'm not going to go too, too much into that gameplay there. That, that's the extent of it. I'm happy I found the gameplay, though, because for the longest time, the gameplay clips of this that exist on the Internet that I could find. So this is actually a, a piece of shareware that we've been able to kind of recover a little bit and get an insight to. Because you can see how difficult it was for me even trying to get it running here. It's It, it needs its own dedicated hardware to run, it sounds like. So um, thanks for uh, letting me show you that, guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.